at night with sand. And I use that Oklahoma sand that they put in clay. Is that like a white sand? Yes. So. Right. So now I've got it. So see it. It's a little not quite wet enough. But I can make it wetter and do this. So there's no problem at all with undercuts in that process. No, there isn't. Yeah. So now I'm going to put that in there like that. And I'm going to push this down. In there. And hope I don't break that beak. That's really, I can't believe this is the hardest thing to do. If I did it upside down, it'd be really easy. So now, well, aren't you doing it upside down? Yeah, yeah but I mean, if, if I started with the blunt end, it would be really easy, but since it's a beak. But you want to do it that way to make sure that. Because I, I want the beak, I don't want this big round thing. Yeah. Oh, this is just the funnel? The yeah. Little, oh, that gets cut off. Yeah. See, it's going to stick up too high. A lost wax process. I made an investment in it, which is plaster and sand, and I put it in there and made a cylinder so it's solid, except for the little place to pour it, and the vents, put that dog in. And then I burned the, the wax dog out. So now I got a hole in this thing that's not changed. But that takes uh, like two days or three days of burning it out and uh, this is a lot. For the piece that I poured for my BFA show, we used metal that we had ordered just to, for ease of yeah. clarity in it, there won't be as much junk in it and it'll pour a lot more smoothly. And it did, it poured very well. I was very happy. So, and how much do we put in? We got to think about. Um, I'll add more once it melts. We have to think about the um, the, the volume of what that is, and uh -huh. you can. You can take your styrofoam and stick it into a jar of water. And it'll raise the water level up, and then you take it out, you mark that. Then you fill up the thing with aluminum until it raises the water level up. And that tells you how much aluminum you do. Hey guys! Hey there. Hey there. Carved into a shape. That's smoke. But in that, I have a little bird beak. Okay? And then we packed it in the sand. And we ran up around it so it's nice and tight, and we'll have a hole that is in that form in the sand. Then we're going to pour the hot aluminum on the styrofoam. It's going to disappear, turn to a gas, and fill that hole in. And so I've done that before. I'm at, and I'm going to let this one kind of overflow a little bit, like this has done on this little house. And this is kind of what it comes out like if it's just more smoke. And these I'm using as little 
uh, sculptural elements inside pots. So I'm working on that project for a show in Rockport in September. So if you all come by in September, you'll get a chance to see how this has evolved. It'll look a lot different than this, I guarantee you. <laughs> but uh, thanks to Joaquin and his skills in wood turning, I learned about these wine stoppers that you could buy. And so now I can make some wine stoppers. <laughs> and then these are the pots that I'm putting them in, I think. Probably not this one. But maybe later on today I'll fire this one. I'm looking forward. I think this one's going to be sweet. And I think it's going to hold a really nice... It's going to look cool. I think. What is that? I hope. <laughs> it's metal, if I have any, from this into the biscuit mold. And this is what we'll end up with. I call this an ingot. And this is how I make my ingots. And I'm going to put this ingot in there, and I think we'll have enough. If you've looked at it, it's all melted, and now how do you tell when it's ready? You uh, stir it with a, a piece of steel, and if it doesn't stick to it, it's hot enough. So, the moment of truth. That ain't sticking, is it? <laughs> well, we got the metal good and hot, and that was what I was worried about. We probably could have used the big crucible, but I just want to make sure we did. This man over here? I can never have it. It would probably get gas. I know, right? It all comes out. Are you saying your prayers or something? Oh, that's on one. His knee. We, we pray that when we're that pouring. Way, <laughs> the foundry gods have already mm -hmm. done their deed. There he is. There's the bird. And he just needs a little sanding and polishing. Are you going to poke it? Try lifting it up. It's kind of stinky.
He's really hot. <laughs> Bravo. It was just 1,800 degrees. Do you want to dump them into the water bucket? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Let's take a look. That part that's blue, is that... That's just hot, hot metal. Who knows why I did it. I wish I could capture that. Wouldn't that be pretty? <laughs> All right, let's see. Well, your water oh, bucket's the, right the there. The water bucket's here. Okay. Watch your camera. There we go. Oh, nice. So remember I talked about texturing the surface mm -hmm. of the sand? And that's how that happened. So you just didn't pack it as much, I just, and you put use that little round in. I used the, a little round in. Uh -huh. yeah. And he was and making you know, it, You can see where it pulled out of the sand areas where I didn't pack it perfect. But you know, it's a pretty good job. Mm -hmm. Kind of worked good. Oops. Start it, or you're gonna polish it. Well, I'm not going to do that today, but I would start with a wire brush on a drill. Oh, okay. And then I would file and sand it. And then I would polish it on a, um, a buffing wheel. All of the stuff I don't have anymore. <laughs> it's all out of school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I have a, a buffer or a little jet, uh, what do you call those, grinder mm -hmm. that I think I can put a buffing wheel on. All right, that was a good idea. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dan. But what you really need is a bench uh, grinder. I mean, like a with a buffing pad on it. Right? Yeah, and I, I have one. In there. Yeah, I can see elements of wood and uh, aluminum mm -hmm. together. You know, stacked. <laughs> We're gonna have to work on that. We will. <laughs> Some collaboration. Collaboration. <laughs> Did I tell you about, I didn't get to do, you know, the uh, manor right? Oh, that's right, right. And I didn't get to do Rebecca's class. Oh, yeah. And take the manor ray and put legs on it. Put legs on. <laughs> you know, inspired by both those artists. That would be fun. I, I know. I I'm looking forward to it. <coughs> and I really appreciate you making the trip all the way to Rockport, yeah, yeah, Boston. Yeah, I didn't want to miss it. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh... So that'll only be 20 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> normally, you mean that's all you're going to pay for holding that water bottle? <laughs> it's normally 25. <laughs> Got that on film, didn't you? Well, you know, that would be a, that would be a great uh, little uh, workshop. Yeah. yeah. And I did it at Clay Houston. Yeah. But I didn't do it as good as I could. I don't think I inspired him. So I need to work it out a little bit better. Uh, that's something you can do in rock for. Yeah. You, know, you can do over at the... Uh, we'll do it out of your gallery. Yeah. Uh, you might have to bring your rack Oh, yeah. Oh, say hi and goodbye. Eat and drink all my beer. He's not